Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today is Canteen Cup Tuesday. So what we're going to do is I'm going to spin you around. <clears throat> we're going to be rehydrating the chicken, bacon, sausage, pasta stuff I made with many panini noodles in it. And we're going to use the comb and it's real windy out today. So I'm going to spin you around and show you what we're doing. All right, so here's our setup. Of course, the old trusty Coleman. But I have chicken, bacon, sausage, Italian that I put in these Mylar bags and they're dehydrated. They've been in the fridge. So what I'm going to do is we're going to use this. Now, I'm just going to boil water in this because I don't know how much I'm going to need, but our canteen cup's right there. Let's turn this on. We'll crank that up. That's just a little pot I use around camp, but I'm going to crank that up and get that water boiling real good. And um, I'll bring you back whenever we get that going. Well, while we're waiting on our water to start boiling, which it's getting hot, I'm going to open up our chicken pasta. Get the moisture pack out. So that's what that looks like. And again, it's got sausage and everything in it. This one may, <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know how long it's going to take. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to, you know, hell with it. We'll do the whole thing. So I'm going to wait for this water to boil. And again, there's sauce, like tomato sauce, all sorts of sausage, the noodles. There's the noodles right there. I'm really curious to see. I, I may never do this one again. I got one more, but got a piece of foil I'm going to put over it. So our water is getting hot, and um, we'll just... Come back when the water's hot. I, I think I'm going to turn this burner down low and move this away from it a little just where it still stays warm. It's going to take at least 30 minutes for that. So so we'll see how that goes here in a sec. And I just want to show you how much this wind, I mean, it is really blowing. i got my microphone on, so this is going to be a good test for it. I lost one of the mic pieces to my other one. But we're going to see how good this works. This is a good test for the mics. But yeah, it's, it's really blowing good here. <clears throat> Our water, I'd say, is just a couple minutes away from boiling. And I'll bring you back when I add you to my canteen cup. All right, so our water is boiling. What I'm going to do is turn this down. I don't really need to use that. I grabbed a pot holder. Let's see if you can let me angle you down here and zoom in a little. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to add. I'm I'm bringing her to the top right there. All right, and I think what I'm going to do is that's turned down low. Well, first. First, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a piece of foil over this. Okay, so our foil's over it. Let's turn down on low. And I'm just gonna put it, it's gonna have to have some heat. So I may put it at the beginning right here of it. I'm going to have to go get my lighter Um, turn that back on. But we're going to have to have a little bit of heat with this. So I'm going to fire that back up. And that's how it's going to set right there. All right. It's been about 15 minutes. I put this hot thing of water up against the canteen cup. 
I'm going to have to fire it back up, but I figured we needed to give it a little mix. Oh, I just dumped that all down in there. That's okay. We'll clean that up. Well, as you can see, our noodles and everything is coming back. <clears throat> it's going to take about another, oh, or even our sausage. Everything's kind of coming back. Again, it's still a little liquidy. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to, for one, I got a mess now to clean up. I'm going to lock this handle in. All right, I'm going to fire this burner up. On low. And I know this thing locks into place. Anyways, huh? I don't know why it won't lock for me. Anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna heat this up, <clears throat> and what I'm gonna do this time is after I heat this back up, I'm just gonna turn it off, put the foil over it, and I brought us a towel out. And I'm going to wrap it in that because it needs to go another 30 minutes at least. At least. Look at that. Looks pretty daggone good so far. That's all coming back. So I'm going to get that hot. Wish my. <clears throat> Wish my pieces would uh I'm gonna catch catch everything on fire here in a sec. They won't walk together for me. I'm gonna make a mess. I'm just gonna leave them alone, let that do its thing. Again, it's windy out here, so I'm gonna let this simmer up. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna get it hot. But I need to keep mixing it up. As you can see, it's starting to, starting to simmer. So what I'm going to do is let that simmer a little, get it hot, put the foil over it, wrap it in our towel, and let it set. All right, I figured I'd bring you back. I think you can see it kind of simmering around here, a little boiling, a little a little small simmer. I'm going to give that a good mix. And again, you can see it boiling. So what I'm going to do now is just turn this off. I'm going to cover it back up. Okay. And now, I'm going to wrap our towel around it this time. And I'm just going to let that sit, and we'll see what it's like in another 20 minutes. All right, so I haven't looked at this yet. It has been, it's been about 25 minutes. So got some juice on top. It's thickened up. It's still going to have to, <clears throat> it still needs to set longer. I knew this one was going to uh, have to set longer. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to heat it back up. I guess, I mean, you, you could do like a little thermos, put it in there. I think Harshman Hills, James, when he rehydrates stuff, he puts stuff in a in a thermos type thing. But, you know, if I did that, it wouldn't be a canteen cup. So I can't really do that right now. But 
um, when you go to rehydrate this, you you could put it in a little thermos to do it. It would definitely make it better. But um, some of these things just take longer than others. This one's going to take longer because it's got big pieces of meat and then the noodles. Um, <clears throat> it's already starting to boil on us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this <clears throat> kind of get hot on me again. I'm not going to add no more liquid. We got plenty of liquid. And we're, we're, we're there. I mean, we're getting there. We, we got, once this gets hot again, and I turn it off, I'm going to cover it. And we, we've, we've got like 15 more minutes. And it may be a little soupier than what I want, but it's going to work. <clears throat> so I'm going to let this get hot, cover it up, put the towel over it. 15 minutes, I'll bring oh, it back. I finally got my handles to lock in. I don't know what the heck I was doing wrong, but all right. So we got that hot again. I'm gonna turn that off. Cover it with our foil. I'm gonna wrap our towel around it. Boom. Fifteen minutes, and I'll see you again. All right, it's been about, I don't know, another 25 minutes. It, it's thicker. All right. You can see all that is really came back all right we're getting ready to do a taste test all right so mom kind of got suckered into this just because she's here and uh, we just made this so what this is is i'm gonna put a picture up of what i made it's um a chicken bacon pasta sauce and then i made mini panini noodles well like a day later, two days later, I ended up cooking some Italian bratwurst and slicing them up and putting cheese and baking it in the oven and making it a casserole. So then I dehydrated it and and we're about to <laughs> <laughs> mom gets first bite. I'm gonna get her a piece of sausage and a noodle. She's going to have to have them. She's going to get first bite. You might want to. I don't know how hot that is. Is it hot? It's hot. It's hot. Yeah, I figure it would be. I'm sorry. <laughs> Not bad. Huh. It's hot. Right. <laughs> Not spice, but heat wise, it's hot. Um so the sausage Oh man, that's hot. Um you wanna try another bite? Did you dehydrate this? So, yeah, it's one of them bags. Uh so uh, I don't know if the sausage was, the sausage is still good. It's, I mean, you gotta think of it as a dehydrated meal, so it ain't gonna be like it is uh, fresh, of course. You better blow on that. It's hot. <laughs> it's it's still really hot. Um, I I let that set probably for close to an hour. I would say it, it was an hour. Um. Um. I don't know if the sausage would come back more. It, it's not inedible, I should say, but it's not the same as, as it was. It's a little dried out. Chewy. And chewy. So it could come back, but everything else came back good. I mean, that that pasta came back perfect. Um, 
And again, there's chicken and bacon and onion and all sorts of stuff in it. So if you haven't gave these meals a try, just dehydrate and like whenever you have leftovers of a stew or pastas or I'm gonna give it another try. Doesn't taste bad. Just chewy. Yeah, the sauce is just a little chewy. I mean, but it ain't bad chewy. It ain't bad chewy. And it gives you that sausage flavor. But go dehydrate you some stuff and you don't even have to put it in mylar bags. You can you do want those uh, uh, packets that are for moisture, but you can just put it in a Ziploc, get the air out, and throw it in your refrigerator or freezer. They're and better oxy yet, they're oxygen absorbers. Oxygen absorbers. Um, I call them flavor savers. You'll hear, hear <laughs> you'll hear me call them ten different things. I just make a joke out of it. But, but anyways, um, there's our dehydrated Italian pasta with sausage, bacon chicken and i'll do it again it, it was good it was it was good and with that thanks for watching mom mom was not gonna be in this i went in there and made her put a jacket on and walked her out here so i said you're gonna be a taste tester so here we are and i hope y'all have a good uh what is today tuesday and i, yes. I, I check out the drawing video of my giveaway <clears throat> That's coming up. The deadline will be 6 p.m. Eastern Time Friday. And that'll be the giveaway for the Flint and Steel Striker. Go check that out. And with that, have a good week. And we'll see you again next time.